So in this video, I am going to explain the simple get and how to draw in Adams. Now, after selecting that, uh, write the name, the model and under the model name, write simple underscore gear underscore train because the space is not allowed in the Adam software. Then click apply, then click OK. Now you can see that simple gear train name is displayed on the screen. Now you can see that in the construction, click this the a point table click the point table here how many points are required you can press the so many times of points point one two three four now four points because we want to draw the two shafts one shaft one side you can take the 75 the jet direct uh, other side is minus 75 and the jet axis and second shaft is 75 uh, plus and minus 75 so now in the second axis x uh, uh, we will keep it as a, a distance 48 and we will keep it y as 0 0 ok now these are the points we are created uh, once you created apply and click ok now you can see that uh, the points are very small now go for the isometric view select this button you can click uh, and go for this uh, fit to window so that you can enter the uh, diagram is visible in the window now we want to draw the shaft go for the cylinder the rigid body cylinder here radius you can take the one centimeter just uh, uh, give the one centimeter select the ground and uh, the um, center okay then you can go for this another center the shaft will be drawn again go for this uh, now i uh, see the center of uh, this location and center of the another location you can draw it then another cylinder is drawn. Now the two cylinders are in a wire frame. You can make it a solid frame with the clicking that icon. Now we want to draw the construct the gates. Okay, for that it's uh, available in the missionary tab. Click the missionary tab. Now you can see that uh, so many gears are inbuilt gears are available. Planetary gear, simple gear. Click this. Uh, create gear pair now you can see that spar helical bevel worm rack and hybrid gears are available now let us see the spar go to the next here also some options popular simplified detailed 3d contact advanced now i go to the detailed uh, and uh, select now here module just i'm keeping the two and these are details are gear one these details are gear two so gear one the center location is zero 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 and uh, uh, for a uh, gate <coughs> center location is uh, x is uh, 48 remaining uh, y and z are 0 0 number of teeth i'm going for uh, pinion is 16 and uh, the uh, driven gear is 32 just off uh, the 1 is to 2 ratio maintaining and i will keep the width is as it is but bore radius is i'm keeping the 10 and remaining here uh, not changed and select next here all the details are available density, angst modulus, poison ratio, all these in bit, what are the material is there that will be there. Now we can select the gear 1, gear 2, here fixed. Then we will go for the body and the in this select the part 2. Okay. Next go to the gear 2, again you can fix the fixed. Then go to the, mm, the gushes in the part 3. Then select next. Now we can click the finish automatically these two gear wheels are generated on the shaft ok that is at x now you can see that these two gears, gear wheels are generated so now what uh, only simply you have drawn the parts now we want to assign the connections now go for the revolute joint because shaft want to rotate uh, about this uh, um, fixed now we take it with reference to ground and this part 2 and the center of that point you can select and assign the revolute joint and similarly for assign the for second shaft also ground and part 3 and that center point you can choose and click then assign the revolute joint so now that uh, connections are uh, assigned next step is the motions so go to the motions Under this motions, that revolute joint, revolute joint, here the general motions are there. Just click the general motions and define the, the uh, first ground, then part 2, then location. You can click. After clicking, this uh, impose uh, the motions are available. That is X, Y, Z, all the, you can select the displacement. All uh, X, Y, Z, both translational, rotational, you can select the displacement. And for in the y z direction, z direction you can give a 60D. 
60 d times uh, it's uh, rotating that is the motion input we are giving according to that input it will rotate apply and click ok now we assign the motion also then final step is verification of through simulation mode click this one and uh, select the different options here uh, you can go for the forever option and step size 0 0.01 and uh, verify the all are correct or not uh, just uh, click the tick mark and, and then it's verified verified successfully close this uh, uh, window then uh, you can go for the simulation so once click uh, these gates will be simulated you can see that these two gates are rotating okay so this is the uh, way to create the uh, simple gate lines now we want to go for uh, the uh, analysis part just click this graph and here we create the three windows and uh, the right side window that load anima animation that is animation is loaded and top left side window you can uh, make it uh, for the body yet uh, select the objects and body for part two just i want to know that uh, what is the angular velocity angular velocity of the part two that magnitude and click ok so that it's a uniform angular velocity that's why it's shown the straight line again we'll go for the angular acceleration at the bottom part and you see that the angular action at sudden some point it will be having the highlighted and remaining is the same okay so likewise uh, we are going to analyze uh, different uh, the bodies what their velocities what their accelerations you can analyze uh, and you can see that uh, all three at a time the 